Hi everyone, this is Lawrence for WaysToWatch.com and this is my review of the 2015 Amazon Fire TV. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and click the like button below. Now there are a lot of features in the new Amazon Fire TV, but it really has two primary selling points. One, it's a streaming media device, and two, it plays games. Now in terms of design, the late 2015 Amazon Fire TV has not changed much. It shares the same design as the 2014 model. The remote looks and feels great. It has a simple, intuitive button layout. I think most people will quickly learn the layout so that you don't have to look at the remote. But a lot of people are already complaining about how difficult it is to get the back off of the remote to access the battery compartment. It took me a few pulls and pushes, but eventually it came off. Amazon also provides an iOS and Android app to control the Fire TV. As with most app-based controllers, the Fire TV app offers good control and easy navigation. Show me Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I would definitely recommend using the app. The Fire TV performs well. It is noticeably faster than the previous model. As long as you don't expect too much in terms of gaming, you will not be disappointed. Game performance is good enough for a $100 box and you will want to add storage using the micro SD slot. The Fire TV's eight gigabytes of internal storage will quickly max out after only downloading a few games. When it comes to connections, there's an ethernet port, Wi-Fi 802.11ac, HDMI, a micro SD slot, and a USB port. For you to see your movies more quickly, the Fire TV now offers ASAP. It stands for Advanced Streaming and Prediction. ASAP allows for faster streaming because it anticipates the movies and TV shows you want to watch. This feature only applies to your Prime service. Amazon says it will improve the more you use Prime Video. In my initial experience, ASAP performs fairly well. Amazon Fire TV also offers Alexa, a voice service that plays music, does searches, checks sports, and provides weather forecasts. What is the weather like in San Francisco today? Currently, in San Francisco, California, it's 67 degrees with cloudy skies. For streaming, it is kind of helpful. Alexa only searches Amazon content, and during my test, it was not working consistently. Alexa, show me Will Smith movies. The films that Will Smith is someone that was majorly involved. Hmm. Show me Tom Cruise movies. It does not come close to the offerings from Google or Apple. Now, if you want to know more about a TV show, a movie, or a scene within a movie, Amazon offers X-Ray. It'll show you more details about the actors, songs, and related information to the movie. I don't think I'll use this service much, but it is a nice feature when you have questions about a particular movie. For parental control, the Fire TV has free time. Parents can control the content their kids watch and how much time they spend using the Fire TV and Fire tablets. With the Prime subscription, the cost for free time starts off at $2.99 a month. When it comes to streaming, the Fire TV has most of the services you want. Netflix, Hulu, and of course, Amazon Prime Video are all here. And there is a good app to access your Disney Anywhere movies. Now there is no way to access video or music from iTunes or Google Play on the Fire TV. Currently, only Prime Video can stream surround sound over the Fire TV. One of the reasons to upgrade to the new Fire TV is that it has the ability to stream 4K video. According to Amazon's website, streaming in 4K requires a 15 megabyte connection. Check. Your television must have an HDMI port that supports HDCP 2.2. Check. At this point in my video, I was looking forward to describing how great 4K video looks on this curved Samsung TV but that is not the case. After making sure I was using the correct HDMI port, I was unable to get any of the movies listed as 4K in Prime Video to actually stream in 4K. I tried Hitch, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and Amazon's original, Alpha House. This was very disappointing, but moving on. For those of us with a Plex media server, the Plex app is available through the Amazon App Store. The Amazon Fire TV can stream movies, music, and images from your Plex Media server. A quick side note, if you have numerous movie files 
and would like to stream them throughout your house or even when you're away from your home, Plex is definitely worth checking out. The user interface for the Amazon Prime TV is basically the same as the previous model. I was hoping that Amazon would improve this part of the Fire experience. It can be confusing, making it hard to find what you want to watch. Something that I really dislike is that a TV show will have separate icons for each season. This UI almost requires that you use your computer to search through movies and TV shows and then add them to your watch list. Overall, I really dislike how the Amazon Fire TV organizes and displays information. For a $100 streaming box, the Amazon Fire TV gets the job done, but I was expecting more. If you are invested in an Amazon Prime service, the Amazon Fire TV is worth considering. Comparing it to this year's other streaming devices from Apple, Roku, and Google, the Fire TV is below average. If you don't need 4K streaming or care much for gaming, you're better off buying the $40 Fire TV stick. This has been the WaysToWatch.com review of the 2015 Amazon Fire TV. If you like this video, click the like button below, share it, and definitely subscribe to my channel. This is Lawrence for WaysToWatch.com. I'll see you soon.